Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. For the people who have already subscribed my channel and for the people who have recently found my channel, a hearty welcome to this channel. I am, let me introduce myself first. I am Padati Sahayashwadhan. I am an electronic enthusiastic electronic engineer who has a degree in electronics and communication engineering. And presently I am doing my master's in embedded system. I have good knowledge in some of the common programming language, Python, C, C language, JavaScript, HTML, CSS, etc. So if you want, I will make the videos in the future. In this series, I am explaining about some of the common problems that are asked in different interview interviews. Now, to this problem is, I will be given, a, I will be taking a decimal number from the user and I need to convert, I need to swap the two nibbles. That is, the decimal number should be a 8-bit number. That is, for example, let me take, I have taken an input, right? 16 who's uh, this is my input this is my input now let us write this 16 in terms of binary how we can write 16 in terms of binary it is nothing but 001 000 if you are if you have basic knowledge in that uh, basic knowledge in conversion between the different number system you know that this is in binary you write 16 in this format let me keep it a hashtag for the commenting part. Now, the output should be these four. Uh, now, first let's understand what do you mean by nibble, and then uh, we can move forward. In general, an 8 bit number is called a byte of information. Similarly, a 4 bit number is called a nibble. Nibble. So, now, so according to the question, I need to swap the both the nibbles. That is, this is called, that is, I need to swap the lower nibble to upper nibble and upper nibble with lower nibble. So if I do that, my output will become. Let's see, this is my output. The output. Yeah. Yes. So now, now let us see. Now let's see what the output will become. Let me keep an open output. The output will become 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. That's what it is, which uh, within terms of decimal is 1. So now I need to give the input as 16 to the code and I need to get the decimal output 1. So now how you are going to do this, let us see. The algorithm or the process how you are going to do this is a very simple process. So what you are going to do is, first of all you need to, first of all you take the input that is 0, 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0. This is the input, right? Now I am going for uh, better clarity purpose. I just keep introduce a space. This space I am not be introducing in the programming. Just to make you understand the way I am solving this problem. I need, I kept this space. Then I perform the end operation with 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. So now this is what I will do. Let me do this and whatever the result I am getting I be shifting that result four times towards the left side that in uh, this is four that means I am whatever the result that I obtain in this bracket that I am going to perform the le shift left operation four times similarly I need I will take this input again and I will do I will do the reverse here that is now I will perform the end operation with 0, 0, 0, 0 and I will do the right shift for number of time. So and then I will perform the OR operation between them. So what happens is when I when I perform the end operation between these both, the lower four nibbles will be retained. Similarly, when I perform the this end operation, the upper four nibbles will be retained. And now when when they we are doing the left shift. This low, the lower four neighbors shift get shifted to the upper, uh, these four places. And similarly, when I perform the right shift operation of this, you have observed this, uh, the retained part that is the upper four neighbors should get shifted to the lower four neighbors. That is what happens is after I perform, uh, the brackets becomes now 0000, 0000. 0, 0, 0, 0. 
zero zero zero. Now I do the left shift four number of time. Similarly, I perform the all operation with this. I will get zero 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 one zero 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 zero. Let's see. Yeah. And this I am performing the right operation for number of times. So this is how we are doing right to make you better understand it is like this. So now what you are doing now when I shift left this part when I shift one each of this uh, highlighted part gets uh, pushed towards your left side by one unit. In the, if, if I do four number of times all these four bits gets replaced here and these bits gets out. Similarly, if I perform the right operation, all these four bits, they, they tend to come here. So after I do the shifting operation, I will be left with 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. But the problem is that is this, this four zeros comes here and this four zeros comes here. Similarly, when I do the second part, this four, four bits goes to the lower by and this four bits go, comes to the upper side. So I will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Now if I perform the OR operation between both of them, sorry, between both of them, if I perform the OR operation, I will get 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. So, which is nothing but in binary, if I convert it in binary, it is 1, which is nothing but a required output. So this is the uh, this is the algorithm that I'll be following in order to solve this problem. Now let us move into the coding part. The first I need to take input from the user. So to do that I write bytes. Byte is equals to. I need to do the type conversion because I want my input to be a decimal number. And I say input. Enter a number between 0 to 255. This is because as we have been taking an input as an 8-bit number, the minimum 8-bit number is 0, 0, all the zeros which is, which whose binary equivalent is 0 and the highest value of 8-bit number is all at once, which translates to 255 in decimal. So now I need to take input from the user. Once I need the input is taken, I need to write swapped underscore byte, which is my variable, is nothing but a swap underscore nibble of byte. Now you may ask me, what is this swap underscore nibble? Uh, so friends, this is uh, to make you understand. I have just written the input command here, but actually this swap underscore byte nibble. Swap underscore nibble is nothing but it is a user defined function that I am going to be defined in the upper loop. Now uh, let us define them, which is nothing but swap underscore nibble. Or oh, well, let's uh, keep it as common on the byte. So now, first first of all, even though we have mentioned that I that we need to give an input between zero and two fifty one, what happens if by mistake if the user gives a number? which is less than 0 or greater than 255. You need to check for that condition. So you need to write if not of 0 less than or equals to byte less than or equals to 255. So what it does is whenever a byte value is between 0 and 255, this bracket becomes true and not of, and if we perform the not operation it becomes false. As the if condition becomes a false, the if condition is not executed. But if my byte value lies below below zero or above two fifty five, then this bracket condition becomes false. False, not a false, becomes a true value, and the if condition executes. If this is the case, I need to raise a value error to the user. So I just say raise value error value error value error is nothing but it is a type of error that is written by the compile uh, that is written during the runtime if you are given input is the if you are giving some invalid input value so i need to say d entered number 
is not between 0 and 255. So uh, in general we don't use the value uh, value error uh, function. This is only used whenever we want to specify in our code some path that should be displayed when when the user is in is entering the invalid value. And if this is not the case, I need to write swapped is equals to. So first I need to take my byte value. I need to perform the end operation with. Uh, if you observe here, I need to perform the end operation with this uh, this eight bits, right? If I convert into hexadecimal, it is nothing but zero cross zero f because see what uh, this four zeros converts to zero and this four times one becomes uh, f in hexadecimal right? so zero f now i need to perform the left shift operation four number sorry left shift operation four number of time then i need to perform the or operation now byte by end of zero cross zero sorry f zero and this i need to perform the right operation four number of times see now once the, the value is being written i need to return the swapped value so return swap so that's it this is a simple uh, four lines of definition that i need to do so whatever i explained before i have written it in the coding format and once i get the value back i need to print it so I just write print print. So now I want I will tell you how you can print a sentence with values in between. Like for example, here I can print it as original by, then I can displace by by, and then I can follow this. So to do that, I write original byte is nothing but byte. But I need it will be best if I display this in uh, 0 8 format, right? Original by 0 8 b. Okay. That's it. Simple. Sorry. Yeah. I need to follow the semicolon. So now what I did is. I am displaying my whatever the input that is taken from the user I'm displaying it but only I'm changing it a little bit and I'm displaying it in the form of 8 bit binary equal. So here 8 represents the number of bits and B represents that the those should be the value should be represented in binary. And uh, and in brackets I will be showing the decimal value also decimal and here I can directly bring my byte value. That's it. Similarly, now I need to print the output also. I will print f input swapped byte. The same thing. Only thing is I will write it as swapped underscore byte. And I need to display it in uh, decimal. So 8 bit decimal equivalent followed by. Uh, decimal value of the byte that's it so that's it now i have written so this is the code that we will be doing now let us execute this code and see what happened so first let me run this code so it is connecting to the server and friends uh, to the people who are new to this channel let me uh, tell you i am doing this code in google column which is a free free online editor that you can use to run your python as well as r programming you can do here so okay and if you want a detailed tutorial on how you can do the basic functions in uh, python you can ask me and i will provide you the video so the, now you see our function has been run now let us run our input code let's give an input as our input is 16. see 16. So, uh, friends, uh, can you analyze where I, why I'm, even though the nibbles have been swapped, why I'm getting the decimal value as 16? Can you guess the what error I have typed in the code? Yes. Then uh, uh, now let me tell you what the mistake I have here. Here I have kept it as decimal of byte. 
but I want to display my swapped by the decimal value, right? So I need to write this as swapped underscore by. Now we understand C. So, but I want the decimal value of my swapped by. So that I need to understand. Now, if I do it 16, now you can see that's the input. Right? That's what we have got in the starting also. Output is one. Now let us uh, take another input. Let's give an input like minus nine. See, it is showing the value error because the entire number is not between zero and 255. Actually, if I uh, if I not if I don't keep any statement between this value error, it will just show it's a value error. Value error. This value error it will not display on its own. But if you if as a developer you are writing it in your code, so you are providing some kind of error feedback to the user as well. So now let me run the code again. Now let me give an another number. Let's say 34. The uh, decimal uh, 8 bit binary equivalent of uh, 34 is this value. And if I have taken this, this will be my upper nibble and this is my lower nibble. And as you can observe, both are being swapped. Yeah. So now, friends, you have gained a good under. I hope you have gained a good understanding about how this code is working. And we have also checked with different inputs and how it is working. See, these are the four upper phone nibble that gets uh, shifted here and this is the lower phone nibble that gets shifted here. So that's what it is happening. But with 34 you can observe even though we are swapping the decimal value is not changing again. So you need to be some okay. So that's how it is doing. So now I hope friends you are gained the good understanding about this. Uh, and you are want to learn. Oh, I gave an excess space here. No problem. Let me run this again and uh, give my input as 34. See, this is a really special case when you are giving your input as 34, the output is also 34. That happens very rarely. So, this is the code and this is work. This will work for any kind of program. So, I hope you have understood how this algorithm is working. And what and how you can write this code in this. Now, friends, this problem and all the problems that I am discussing here, this need not be asked. Uh, they need not be only coded in Python. You you may be asked to code in any of the language that you are comfortable with. So, if anyone wants the same code, same problem code in Java or JavaScript, JavaScript also, they can mention it in the description, and I will provide the code to them. Okay, friends. I hope um, I hope you have gained a good understanding. You learned something new from my video. If you are enjoying this series and you feeling this series is useful to you, please uh, share your um, please share your feedback in the description uh, in the comment section below. And also, if you have any suggestions, also you can uh, share in the comment section below. And uh, uh, one announcement, friends. I am going to be continuing the other uh, series also about the um, Cisco packet tracer and all the series that I have started in the past that will continue as it is. This, along with this, this series will also continue. So I hope friends you have gained a good understanding about uh, today's problem and uh, I hope you will uh, try to make modification to the code. Thank you friends. Thanks for watching this video till the end friends. Thanks for watching friends and I'll meet you again in a new video with a new concept and a new problem. Until then, stay tuned to this channel. Bye friends.